Hi Bobby. Hi, hi Anirudh. What do you want to do this week? Yeah, so BJT I think uh, we have touched most of the portion, yes. key portion, portions. Actually in BJT when we were solving a uh, problem, mm -hmm. you had mentioned about some some Darlington pair. Correct, huh? that is true. So where the bias current is, base current is uh, kind of That's beta true. square times less. That's true. So we took one single BJT and I think we put two of them together. In fact, you were saying that is some super transistor. Something like a super transistor, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Yes. I think what we did was we took three devices, uh, two devices like this and we created, so we, each one has a base collector and emitter. Yeah. But this one has some composite, right? Correct. So maybe we'll call it uh, some B prime, C prime and E prime. Mm -hmm. These are the three new uh, uh, terminals. So you have two transistors Q1 and Q2. And we found out, so if one transistor has beta, this one had uh, equivalent beta, it was beta squared. Yeah. Yes, I remember this, Darlington pair, correct. Yeah. So, we learned that it reduces the base current That's ultimately, but still there is a base current. That is true, hmm? that is true, yes. So, if I want something even less. Okay. Or something, ideally maybe we should not draw any current. That is true. Because mm -hmm. where you are giving signal, mm. signal source should not be loaded. Correct. We are not supposed to draw current ideally. That is true. So, is there something like that available? Mm. So, you want a device where actually there is no base current. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. So, you basically want IB equal to 0. Correct, mm. correct. So, it should look like an open circuit, like an insulator. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yes, mm. I have heard of a device like that. So, that device is called a MOSFET. 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 I will write it down. Uh -huh. So, all capitals, just like we had BJT, no? Yeah. So, this was BJT was Bipolar, bipolar junction transistor. Yes. Basically, we had two PN junctions. Yeah. That's why it's a bipolar junction transistor. So, similarly, we have uh, MOSFET, which is uh, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Oh, it's very oh, long. This is not uh, <laughs> as simple as BJT. Yes. Uh -huh. Metal oxide. But sometimes Same people just say MOS. Yes, sometimes they just say MOS. Some people just say FET. FET. Field effect transistor. It depends on what they like. Depends on what, <laughs> correct. So, also metal oxide semiconductor correct. field effect transistor. Field effect transistor. So, actually this is another type of transistor. Hmm. That is what we want, right? We said that the transistor helps you build an amplifier. Correct. You, this is also another kind of transistor. You can also build amplifiers using this. And uh, similar other circuits. Similar other circuits. That's what we will see. We will try to see at least some of them. And uh, yes. What so, kind of symbol it? Ah, so the symbol, see. Similar? Similar. Hmm. But see this one we saw, right? So we saw that the direction of the arrow we have three terminals, we Correct. have the direction as a rep, uh, representing the current direction. Correct. We will have something similar for the uh, MOSFET. This is also three terminals and the direction of the arrow also represents the direction of current, current. through this uh, device. Uh, but the base and or I do not know what you call that and the other is not connected. They are not connected. In fact, that is why you see that we have a, you are gap not connecting there. it, you have a gap there. So, that is why you mentioned insulator. Also. Insulator. In fact, that is the oxide. Oh. So, what happens is it is made with silicon, uh -huh. like all semiconductors. You remember that uh, for the PN junction, hmm. we took a silicon. And then we, we doped, doped it. We doped it. Here? With, uh, here also you do that, uh -huh. except on the gate side, hmm. you connect with silicon dioxide. 
uh-huh. not with silicon. Silicon, mm-hmm. silicon mm-hmm. dioxide mm-hmm. is an insulator. It's an insulator. It's an insulator. Oh. So it. So we will name the junctions. Okay. Uh, we will name the terminals. Mm. So the corresponding to the base, you have the gate terminal. Okay. Corresponding to the collector, you have the uh, uh, drain terminal and corresponding to the emitter, you have the source terminal. Okay. So, instead of emitting here is a source. It is a source. Mm-hmm. Correct. So, in fact, this particular symbol oh. is what is called an N MOSFET, NPN. Mm-hmm. Just like that, you have an N MOSFET. Okay. Any guesses what the N stands for? I don't know. Maybe this uh, uh, oxide is made on something. Oxide is made with some particular type. Hmm. It is also that the charge carriers are electrons. Ah, okay. So, N type. Both of okay. them. Actually, okay, okay. it turns out that the gate is actually not metal. It hmm. is polysilicon. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, that N also comes from there. It hmm. also comes from the fact that you have uh, majority uh, majority carriers. The charge carriers are actually n. So, so it comes from the negative. device structure. Device structure. I think later on, if we have, we'll see, we'll see it, right? Mm-hmm. I think we'll have mm-hmm. a chance to maybe very briefly mm-hmm. because we don't want to turn this into an electronic devices course. Correct, correct, correct. Very briefly, we will explain what the device looks like. Mm-hmm. So we will also draw the PMOS. So, the current is flowing between source and drain. Between source and drain. So, the source terminal actually produces electrons, Mm -hmm. they flow to the drain terminal. Mm -hmm. The gate terminal, there is no current. So, gate just uh, controls. Gate just controls, right. Actually, the MOSFET looks like a very good switch. We saw the ideal switch. Mm -hmm. The MOSFET looks like a very good switch. You can turn it on, turn it off, you can use the gate to control whether the device is on or off. Oh, so, it is a that gate really means it is a gate. It is a gate. <laughs> Correct. Okay, okay. Correct. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is a P MOSFET. Just like you had the P and P where the arrow was opposite, here it is a um, um, Understood. P MOSFET. Mm-hmm. And same way this is the source, this is the drain and this is the gate. Okay. Direction of arrow is the direction of current. Understood. Here it is P type charge carriers. So, the direction of current uh, is the same as the direction of charge carriers. Mm-hmm. In the case of the N MOSFET, current flows like this, yes. but electrons flow, negatively charged particles flow the opposite. Okay, okay. That is all. And like you pointed out, people do not want to say N MOSFET. They just say N MOS and P MOS. Easy. And we, 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 we will also most likely do that. Correct. Because right? it is understood. It is understood. Right. Uh, so, field effect transistor. So, yes. field is electric field is doing something. Correct. That okay. is right. Okay. We will see that we'll later. We will see that later. Mm-hmm.